Hi, thanks for tuning in uh, with me, Steve Hayes and Michael Darby as we talk to you about the UK CA marking. Uh, Michael and I both work in the Connected Technology Business Unit of Element um, and we help manufacturers get their products to market. Historically that uh, focused in Europe on CE marking, but since the UK left the EU as a result of Brexit, uh, we now have UK CA marking. The UK CA marking uh, is accepted for a period of time in conjunction with uh, CE marking to allow for that transitional period. That transitional period is uh, continually uh, being debated. Uh, Michael, do you want to just give us a quick update as to what the latest status is? Yeah, so UK CA marking for products being sold um, started officially from the 1st of January 2021. Now, one point I want to make is it's for Great Britain. So the UK is Great Britain and Northern Ireland. But for all manner of political reasons, you can't have a border between Northern Ireland and the country of Ireland. And therefore, from a trade point of view, Northern Ireland is in the CE marking zone. This is all a complicated topic for a short webinar, but essentially products being sold into Northern Ireland are done so under the CE marking as per the rest of the country of Ireland, whereas Great Britain um, has the UK CA mark. With hindsight, I wonder if they might have called it the GBCA mark, um, but uh, we have the UK CA mark. And manufacturers could use the UK CA mark for selling into Great Britain from the 1st of January 2021. Now, there isn't a trade agreement between the EU and the UK. But the UK made a decision to continue or allow manufacturers to continue to ship CE marked products into Great Britain for a two year period from the 1st of January 2021 to January 2023. As we neared the end of 2022, however, the UK made that decision to extend that a further two years. So now we're looking at the 1st of January 2025 when it will stop being permitted to use the CE mark um, as a way into Great Britain. Of course, you could still have a product with a CE mark on it. A label could have the CE mark and the UK CA mark. It doesn't mean having a late, the CE mark on the label is forbidden, but what it means is up at this point, you can use the CE mark to get your product into Great Britain. But from the 1st of January 2025, a product coming into Great Britain would need the UK CA mark. Unless, of course, they choose to delay it again for another couple of years, which isn't out of the question, in my opinion. Mm. So the UK has introduced its horizontal legislation, and it's a name that I always forget. It's the Product Security and Telecommunication Infrastructure Act. Oh. Do you want to repeat well, that? that? No, certainly <laughs> don't. OK, so that act is, is a draft piece of UK only legislation. Uh, and uh, as it stands at the moment, uh, the idea is that it will come into force uh, during April 2024. So a mere six months away from the recording of this particular video. Um, the UK is unlikely to put the date of that back because it wants to make sure um, that there are cyber requirements uh, that are applicable to products uh, that are entering the UK market. Now, if that happens, it will be the first bit of divergent legislation that we have between the UK and the EU, because the Cyber Resilience Act is certainly will not be coming in um, by April 2024. So the UK will lead uh, on that particular topic. As I say, it's draft legislation, something Mo Michael and I uh, and the legal team here within Element are following closely uh, to make sure that uh, as soon as it's published, as soon as it becomes mandatory requirement, um, that we'll be informing uh, our customers uh, and viewers uh, to make sure that you understand uh, what those requirements are. So keep tuning in, uh, listening out for it, and we'll give you the updates on that uh, piece of legislation uh, as and when it gets published. Thanks for listening.